Hello friends, Melissa here with Paperlicious Design Studio. Today I'm doing one of the challenges posted on Marta's YouTube channel, Marry Me Small Arts. She's posting videos daily to help us focus on something positive during um, the health crisis we're all going through. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm in Texas and we're doing well. And if you're watching, I would love to hear where you're from. So Marta's second challenge is to use a magazine photo. I found some stickers at Hobby Lobby that had some pretty spring colors. Let me show you what they look like. She used a lot of flowers and butterflies to build hers up, so that's kind of what I was looking for. The spring sticker set looks like this before I cut it up. Okay. And then the flowers are from a, another set. Let's see, I don't know. This is part of what it looked like before I cut it up. So like I said, those are from Hobby Lobby. I also found some butterflies that were some digital printouts that I printed years ago, and honestly, I have no idea where I purchased them from. Probably somebody on Etsy, though. I used to buy a lot of digi files off of Etsy. So the next thing I started doing was looking um, for some watercolors or paints that I could use for the background. A blue that I liked. All right, it was a distress crayon. And I found a purple. Okay. So that's what I'll be using.
came back, went and um, had a salad, and I'm ready to go again. I came back excited and forgot to turn the camera on, so let me tell you what I've done um, since you've been gone. I used my Making Faces uh, Pastels by Jane Davenport. I have all three sets, but primarily use this one to add some color to her face and used a pen to add some eyelashes to her eyes to make those more prominent, traced around the eyes a little bit. Um, added some stickers over on this side and added a little more green right here. So now I'm just trying to figure out the next step. I think I'm going to add a butterfly over here. And then I have this stamp, Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful. I'm a little nervous because I'm not sure how it'll turn out, if it'll stamp well or not, but we'll try it also found some really old rub-ons and I was thinking about using one of these to go over here. Um, Marta adds um, some shadowing around her images. I really like how she does it. I'm a little nervous about trying it though because I haven't really done that before. So um, now's a good time, I guess, to practice, and we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to use, I'm not sure what she used, but I'm going to use a sketch and wash. Okay? It's water soluble.
All right, so what do you think? Do you think it looked better before I added um, the shadowing with the sketch and wash pencil? Um, by the way, I think I got this at Michael's years ago. They may still carry them. And then I used a Micron pen, which you can get at Michael's, black, to do the doodling. All right, I think that uh, is going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching today. Um, if you did, please push the like button below, and I would love to get a comment from you. Um, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.